But is there any data at all that men are any more likely to um, freak out and leave a relationship early than women? I don't think there's don't any think so. at all. I think that this think- is a large conspiracy. So why do men get spooked early in relationships and pull away? So context is key here. So don't make assumptions. It can be so many different reasons. It could have to do with him, right? He could be afraid. He could be like afraid of commitment. He could be, you know, just not interested in a long-term relationship. Could be about you. It could be you, you know, just kind of rushing the relationship, going at a pace that he's not comfortable with. Could just be that, you know, he's a man. And men tend to, you know, we have this intense bonding. Women are de-stressing. The bonding is making them de-stress opposite for the guys actually their testosterone is coming down yeah so they actually need to go away pull back yeah build it up they'll spring back to you you know per uh, john gray's rubber band theory they'll spring back to you as long as you don't chase him right key don't chase yeah. him he'll come back instead of chasing him what you should be doing in my opinion i'm not big on shits either but this is the one thing i really encourage women to do is pursue your own passions at that time right Very then good. when he comes back you're on your happy state right you're not punishing him Very for good. going away He's feeling comfortable back with you, comfortable to be here, not scared to come back because she's gonna, you know, be right. drama on me, right? But instead, he's welcoming you back, and that's a positive circle for you. But I always say to, you know, I always say to women, you know, if you can visually plant a stiletto, you know, dig your dig your one foot in, and then dance around that and live your life. But live don't try life. and yes. don't don't chase them, and also don't don't go far away because. It, he'll get confused, but keep the space, hold the space, mm-hmm. and quite often they will come back and they'll have built up their yeah, testosterone right here, from, their, uh, from, <laughs> from their their own man cave or something. And if it keeps going though, that's when I want to say, look, there has to be some sort of communication to say, look, you know, you've been gone and you keep coming back and forth like the rubber band relationships, and this isn't really serving us and it's not really serving my, my, my own life. How do we make it so that you're more comfortable? Yeah, we're ready? looking at you. We're, ready. we're all looking at you. I'm going to arm wrestle you guys all on this one. <laughs> okay, so so this is this is what I feel. Okay, we, we pull back. Think about it. We're all hot and heavy. We're, we start off hot and heavy mm-hmm. oftentimes. And then guys have an epiphany. You know, we look up and we say, oh, my goodness. You know, my, my singlehood is going to be gone if I continue down this path. We think three things, three things. And, again, I'm not always proud of this. <laughs> but we think she's going to take all my money. She's going to take away all my friends, and I'll never be able to sleep with another woman Who do again. you date? <laughs> I'll never be able to sleep with another woman again. And we have, we, we think about this, and, and the irony is we want women, we want to spend our money on women. We want yeah. our friends to be taken away to a certain extent, at least some of them. And we want to only sleep with one woman. Mm-hmm. But it's up to a, a, the woman to neutralize us on those three fears. And in my number one bestseller to date a man, you you must understand a man. You know, I teach how to neutralize those three things, and it's easy. It is simple. You want to know? It's like how? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's easy and simple. You want me to go? Yeah, yeah tell us. Okay, three things, right? The money. It starts off um, right off the bat. The money. It's it, on a date when we start dating. You pitch in, and I don't care if you don't have any money at all. You pitch in. You offer to buy things, you know, a drink. The here. woman does. The woman yeah, does. Yeah. The woman, right. I'm sorry. The woman does. <laughs> and now we think, okay, she's not a gold digger. She doesn't want to take take my money. Uh-huh. And fine. Point number one wiped out. Number two, our friends. And you and I talked about this before. Let us go to our friends. Mm-hmm. You know, let you know the woman should just let her guy go. Yeah. You know, let her go, but keep your own social network, you know, outside of his, and you go to your friends. Mm-hmm. And what happens is we sit there and we say, hmm, you know, I wonder what yeah, uh, Helen she, is doing. You know, I kind of miss her. You know, and I start texting. You know, I start texting and wondering. Suddenly, I'm not having fun playing, you know, Xbox and you know, uh, you know, dicking life. around with the guys. Right, and the third thing, you know, the third thing, you know, biggie, is you keep things crazy. You 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 know, in the in the bedroom, you keep things crazy in the bedroom. Spoon feed us sex, you know, you know, tons oh. of it one day, and then and then mix it take, up, take huh? it away, <laughs> mix it up, and take it away for two days. And you know, you know, the the power of the pussy is just mm-hmm. incredible. Yeah, that's sounding a little like game playing at the no, end. No, no, there. no, no, no. But 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 I mean, these, you know, you're talking initially here. These are the three things, and then we will come back to you. Mm-hmm. Then we'll Do I want you by this you. time? Well, that's really I got good. a question. I got a question yes. for but, the three of you. I mean, I, I, I loved everything that you said. Um, and there certainly are men who are going to get out of things fast and get scared and all that kind of stuff. But is there any data at all that 
that men are any more likely to um, freak out and leave a relationship really than women. I don't think there's don't any think so. at all. I think that this think, is a large conspiracy, but, but it's a women time seem out. to no, think, I I think that it's, it, it, that it's, it's men that are the only ones that are wearing sneakers and right. on their way out. I don't think that's true. I don't, no. I've never seen any right, data the, to show that men are any more squeamish about forming a relationship than women. I think right. it's a But we're asking why they, why we pull back. Why. Yeah, but why do they? I mean, I don't. Women pull back too. True. Sure. But and we come back. They pull we, back, back we come back. But like you mentioned. That I think there yes. is. You know, I've seen yeah. a lot of anecdotal. I don't have any research, but I've seen yeah. a lot of anecdotal that men really do kind of. And this isn't leaving but a relationship, but actually this is woman. a crucial... A guy pulling away is not necessarily a bad sign either. It could actually signal that he's actually getting... His feelings for intensifying, so he's feeling vulnerable. So it could be a good sign, too. So it sounds like pulling away on some level is normal, right? The two things to worry about. Number one, if it's happening early in a relationship, pay attention, it's likely a warning sign, right? And number two, if it's happening in an established relationship, it's normal. There's a normal ebb and flow to how men and women connect with each other. And it is men and women who have a need for connection and pulling away.